Bible verses about confidence. We all need confidence. Most people have confidence because of their higher education, their achievements, goals, popularity, their beauty, money, etc. But look, there is famine in the land. Why I said there is famine? Because there's a lot now who have no jobs. A company closed because of COVID-19. So where can we find confidence? When your confidence comes from this world, other than God, you will never be satisfied. Because if you have everything, you never know that one day it's gone. Only God can satisfy us. Only God can protect us what we have right now because He will protect His people, those people who call upon His name. Isaiah 26 verse 3 You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. We should not put our confidence to a person or people, but put your confidence to our living God because He promised He never leave us nor fail us. Micah chapter 7 verse 5 Do not trust a neighbor. Put no confidence in a friend. Psalm 118 verse 8 it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Proverbs 11 verse 13 A gossip betrays a confidence, but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. Do not put your confidence in yourself because it feels in the end, but Put your confidence in the Lord because He will give you strength. Psalm 73 verse 26 My flesh and my heart feel it, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Himaya chapter 6 verse 16 When all our enemies heard about this, all the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their self-confidence because they realized that this work had been done with the help of our God. But how you will be confident in the Lord if you will not spend time with Him in prayer, if you don't read the Bible, you don't have a word to declare, you don't have a promises to declare to the Lord. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence indeed is the Lord, is blessed. Psalm 71 verse 4 to 5 Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grubs of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. Proverbs 14 verse 26 In the fear of the Lord one has strong confidence and his children will have a refuge. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6 to it. Therefore, we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I see and would prepare to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Hebrews 10, verse 17 to 19. Then he adds, Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more, and where these have been forgiven, 
sacrifice for sins is no longer necessary. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. How to have confidence in prayer? You have to read the Bible. You have to declare His promises, His word, because He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all things we ask or think. It is His promise in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You have to declare His word so that your faith will rise even in hard times, in a hard situation, in the famine, or you don't know what to do because of your situation right now. Declare His promises. The more you go nearer to Him, ask Him because He, he will enable us to deliver us if we call upon His name. Get alone with God every day. Pray every day without ceasing and supplication. You want to be healed? You want to be delivered? Give time for it. Because He is a God who does not right away answer your prayer because He is looking for you. How you go farther, how true you are in asking for help. Hebrews uh, chapter 4 verse 16 Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. 1 John 5 14 This is the confidence which we have before Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He hear us. And if we know that He hear us, in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request which we have asked for Him. I like these verses, 1 John 5.14. I always claim these promises because I believe that He is a God who hear my prayers because I ask according to His will, not my own will. And I have confidence that He will answer my prayer in due time. So we have to be patient and be confident in the Lord that in due time, He will answer our prayers because sometimes our prayer is not right answered right away. But there are also prayer that is answered right away. I experienced that many times that when I pray, uh, God answered me right away. But sometimes I have a prayer that it takes time because God is a God and knows what is the best for us. Hebrews 10 verse 35 to 36. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what He has promised. Philippians 1 verse 6 Being confident of this, that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. 1 John 4 16 to 18 If anyone acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love. But perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. 
Do you have more than enough? Then glory to God, but never trust in your achievement, in your status, in your riches, in your beauty. But show your confidence in God who gives you everything, who gives you life, who gives you good health in every day. Because He is a powerful God who will provide everything. He gives you everything. When there is a great depression, especially here in abroad, because in winter time, it is a deep depression time. And a lot of people will commit suicide. That's why I am giving these uh, verses to have confidence in God. Just surrender it to Him, whatever situation you are in right now, because you cannot do it by yourself. It is the Lord who are in control. To be honest, I give it to the Lord everything so that I have peace in mind because truly without God I don't have peace I don't have peace in this world but in God I have peace I put my confidence because only God can protect me in everything that I do and I put my trust in Him